Now we'll move on to the uh, paper uh, by uh, Lavanya Praveen. Lavanya Praveen's uh, paper is going to be on geomorphology in Puranas. Good morning to one and all present here. I'm Lavanya Praveen, PhD research scholar from the Gupaswami Shastri Research Institute, Chennai. Uh, I will be presenting a paper on geomorphology in Puranas. Physical geography is one of the two fields of geography which deals with the processes and patterns in the natural environment, such as the atmosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere, and geosphere, as opposed to the cultural or built environment, the domain of human geography. Physical geography can be divided into several branches, and one of them is geomorphology. Geomorphology is the scientific study of the origin and evolution of the topographic and bathymetric features created by physical, chemical, or biological processes operating at or near the Earth's surface. The physio physiography of the Earth is poetically described in the Rig Veda thus, the Earth abounds in heights, bears the burden of mountains, and supports the trees of the forests in the ground, Kshama. She quickens, for she scatters rain, and the showers of heaven are shed from the lightning of her clouds. She is great Mahi, firm Dridha, and shining Arjuni. A number of topographic features too are mentioned like lakes and waterfalls, deserts, snow-clad mountains, mountain fringes and shelving banks of the Ganga. Further, the river hymns of the Rig Veda furnish poetic come geographic account of number of rivers. I have uh, mentioned the Rig Vedic uh, reference verses on the screen. Perhaps the Rig Vedic Aryans had the concept of knowing slopes also of a region by the help of rivers. By the time of the Samaveda, Yajurveda, and Atharva Veda, the Indians had come to acquire sufficient knowledge of physiography and geomorphology. The following geographical terms are a proof Upakhwara, mountain slopes, Irina, cliff. Shila, stony place, Shayana, habitable place, Hrada, lake, Lopa, rugged land, Surva, good soil, Kimshila, pebbly places, and Anupa, marshes. The Prithvi Sukta of the Atharva Veda furnishes a concise account of physiography like mountains, forest lands, rocky places, plain areas, and perennial streams or slopes. The celebrated epic Ramayana reveals very rich and accurate knowledge of geomorphological patterns. Some of the geographical patterns quoted are, and beautiful forests and woods, watery expanses of mighty volume and mountain with flat places. Shobhishyanti kakutstam atavyo ramyakananaha, apagascha mahandrapaha sanumantascha parvataha. Valmiki has also marked river erosion on non-resistant or soft steep river bank. Runadhi Mrutusot Sedham Tiram Amburayor Yatha. Two chapters of the Bhishma Parva of Mahabharata contain considerable information on physiography. This epic mentions large tracts of dirt deserts several times. The soil of a forest is described as its soil was uneven and covered with blocks of stones loosened from the hills. Vishamam Parvatas Tasaihi Rashma Bhishya Samavratam. The Mahabharata thus evinces that the author has carefully observed and was acquainted with the geomorphological process of soil creep. In Paninish Ashtadhyayi too, we come across important geomorphological patterns. A river moving and breaking its banks is termed as Bindya, glacier is termed as Himani, and so on. Now we move on to the Puranic references or sources with reference to geomorphology. There are many references to geomorphology found in the Puranas. The Vayu Purana refers to various types of topography, namely lakes, barren tracks, rocky troughs between mountains, and longitudinal troughs lying between two filament-like mountains. Tathaiva shailavara yoho kumudanjana yorapi antare kesaradronihi anekayam ayojana. And rocky expanses and dark mountain bubbles. 
केचित् सन्ति महाघोरा श्यामा पर्वतकुक्षय मेन्शन इज आलो मेड ऑफ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ हाट स्प्रिंग्स इन द मौंटेनस रीजन तथा अनल तप्त अन अनल सरांसी द्विजसत्तमा शैलकुक्ष्यंतरस्था सहस्रा शता In the Markandeya Purana, a peculiar type of topography in the Kim Purusha Varsha and seven other countries where water bubbles up from the ground is also mentioned. The obliteration of relief due to dissolutional erosion is described in the Vayu Purana. Vayu Purana thus: Adasya urdvam cha te deepta ha tata sapta diva kara ha dhan yashesham trilokyam sapat sapata ala talam dvija dhyamanam tu. तैहि दीप्तैहि त्रैलोक्यं द्विज भास्करैहि स अद्रि नद्यर्नवा भोगं निस्नेहं अभिजायते द थ्री वर्ड्स कंज्यूम्ड बाय दीस सन्स बिकम्स रग्ड एंड डिफॉर्म्ड ऑल ओवर देयर माउंटेन्स रिवर्स एंड सीज एंड द अर्थ बेयर ऑफ वेर्ड्यूर एंड डिस्टिट्यूट ऑफ मॉइस्चर अलोन रिमेंस रिसेंबलिंग इन अपीयरेंस द बैक ऑफ अ टॉर्टॉइस द अक्वेंटेंस विद द ग्रेट ऑब्लिटरेशन ऑफ रिलीफ through tectonic processes upheavals and vigorous erosions by the ancient geographers can also be seen in the matsya purana the garuda purana has rec recognized the exceptional erosive power of water which is said to be death or senility to mountain advaja jara deha vatam parvatanam jalam jara with slight variations several puranas classify the soils of the subterranean regions in seven categories as black white or yellowish blue or red yellow gravelly hilly or boulder and golden hued for instance in the brahma purana the soil classification is as follows the first two lines uh, mention the seven uh, uh, categories the regions athalam vitalanchaiva nitalam sutalam tatha talatalam rasatalam patalan chaapi saptama now the colors krishna shukla aruna pita sharkara shaila kanchani few puranas assert that on the meru mountain four types of soil or rocks are found in the varaha purana it is mentioned as white in the east and yellow in the south purvataha shweta varnaha pitascha dakshinena black on the west and red on the north bringapatra nibhascha so paschime parshvam uttaras tasya rakta varnaha vibhavyate the padma purana uttarakhand recognizes five types of rocks The quartz, metamorphic rocks, blue rocks, most probably granite and akin ones, Indra blue rocks, perhaps a special variety of granite, yellow rocks and white rocks. Ador dvas patikas shweto madhyo madhye nila shilo girihi bhuti bhihi sarvata shubro nila kanta iva abhau Indra nila shiladyas tu he mar ekan taran tarat eh he mar ekan taran taraha spurat vidyulata Krishna ji muta iva rajate murdhi नीलशिल शैल सौध कांचन मेखल नारायण इवा भाती परीतांबरा द ब्रह्म संहिता आलो मेन लाज वेरैटी ऑफ राक्स लाइक पर्मियबल एंड इंपर्मियबल राक्स ब्लैक राक्स वैट राक्स ग्रीन एंड कॉपर राक्स मानसार पहाप दि अर्लियस्ट एंड दि मोस्ट इंपार्टेंट आर्किटेक्चरल ट्रेटेज टू फर्निश कंसिडरबल इंफर्मेशन ऑन सॉयल दलर्स taste texture as well as slope of a region the samarangana sutra dhara typifies three varieties of terrain as jangala anupa and ordinary according to the medical treatise sushruta samhita there are two types of soil examinations as general and special even in buddhist and jaina literatures we have geographical works like brihat kshetra samasa and angutta anguttara nikaya etc we just gather from the above that in ancient india the knowledge of geomorphology was well developed on scientific lines the techniques of knowing the slope of an area by means of a flowing river were developed various types of topography such as springs waterfalls mountainous plateaus eroded lands etc along with geographical terms were used land classification such as fertile infertile cultivable etc and social classify soil 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 classifications such as black yellow red etc which are in og Vogue even at present can be regarded as an important achievement of the ancient Indians. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Lavanya ji. If uh, there are any questions, uh, 
she will take the questions from the audience. Uh, Lavanya ji is a part of the Kukuswami Shastri Sanskrit Research Institute's uh, team. Uh, these scholars are uh, providing yeoman service to Bharat uh, in the form of uh, particularly manuscript research. It, there is a great repository of uh, ancient manuscripts in the research institute. And uh, I uh, was amazed to see that they have covered areas of Indic knowledge right from auditing to uh, naval engineering uh, to some very, very remote uh, and uh, micro level knowledge areas from the manuscripts. And they have kept uh, around 55 of uh, publications ready uh, in the form of manuscripts. And uh, we are proud, Indic Academy is proud to have collaborated with them. And uh, we have instituted a chair there, DP Santanam Indic Academy chair, uh, with a, a senior scholar guiding to researchers. Uh, 